sounds. Do you important. want to open for me? <laughs> I, I, my brother, I, I, you know, he listens to this, and I'm, I mean, my brother whispers words and sometimes whispers the wrong words to <laughs> emphasize things. Do you know that? Like, you know, when people go, uh, so and so had cancer. You know, you you know that being a Jew, they always whisper that, or you know, uh, you know, uh, Sheila. She you know, they do, the people will whisper. You're generally the a negative whisper or a, or a secret. Right, but my brother will like whisper really. on the wrong word. He'll go, I'll meet you in the lobby. Let's take the elevator. Sure, yeah. And I, <laughs> why are you whispering that word? <laughs> How if you have to take a big shit, just do it in the bathroom. Right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, well, that is Lou. Thank you for joining us, Lou. Oh, my God. Come on, the other way. Listen, let me ask you this. Lou, you're Did confident. Did ever wake up in the middle of the night with a toothache and think, fuck, I'm closed tomorrow? Well, it depends what time it is. If it's two thirty, uh. then they're open. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gag! I'd love that was a double bubble. Double That's bubble. from Double Bubble. <laughs> I don't know what Double Bubble is. That's a, the the, the uh, chewing gum. Then they have the jokes in them. Didn't you have? Oh, double I bubble? doubt it's from that. It's maybe in it. This is another on or in the spectrum. <laughs> Just because it's in something doesn't mean it's from it. You never bought the bubble gum and then you saw the joke, buddy. People my age don't go and buy bubble gum. <laughs> you know, it's a different generation. What do you kids chew on? Well, I'm not a kid anymore, but when I was a kid, we would buy like magic cards or nudie mags. We weren't buying bubble gum and when you were a kid, you were buying cards. nudie mags. When I was a teen, uh, when I was 13 or so, I was in this um, before. I had to go to a special school, PEP, Positive Education Program. I'm not sure if you know about this. None of my education was positive. Well, it was it was like for troubled kids. Which you were you were a troubled kid. I don't. I, no judgment to the troubled. <laughs> well, it depends on what the trouble was, you know. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I went to a school that was for like, it was right before you go to juvie or right after you got out of juvie. And like in every class, there was a teacher. A when teacher you say saying, juvie, you're not talking about yeshiva. I'm talking about oh, yeah, that's when you're Jew-y. studying your Torah portion. That's what right. I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, and there was a restrainer in every class. So when kids would jump out the window or run around class, there would be somebody that would hold, like you walk into the bathroom, there's just kids being held down. Get the fuck off. It was like like a, a more realistic version of what Scared Straight would be if it was an actual school. Why did you get sent to that? I was in a learning disabled class first, and then there was like a sub learning disabled class. I've talked about this on my pod before. Uh, I remember I was, they, they put me in, um, I was at a desk and they put, blue tape around and I wasn't allowed to leave. So as a 12 year old who's hyperactive, of course I'm gonna do this stuff, you know, put pushing my, your foot, put on foot the out or your feet can't touch or I'd crawl around on my knees and I'd be a hyper weirdo, but yeah, I mean, I, I also, I get in, in, nervous when I repeat stories, but I didn't tell it on here. You never told this on here. Um, and I didn't listen to that episode of yours. <laughs> <laughs> when you were there. Um, you know, uh, uh, people would, um, Take a pin and like stick it through the dead skin of your yeah. fingertips. Yes. Um, I would do that. Uh, and they were uh, taking notes of me that I never knew about. And it was Ricky stabs himself. Uh, Rick burns himself with cigarettes. I had a little mark from tough actin to actin because I found a spray. And if you do it upside down, um, I've never smoked a cigarette in my life. But it was all of these things. What's tough actin to actin? You have I'm athlete's foot. It's like and canned you put air. it on your hand? If you turn it up, a canned air thing upside down and spray it, stuff comes out. That's what Lou's been doing for the last 10 minutes on the podcast. Yeah. That's what he's been spraying into his mouth. Why don't you keep that just, a secret, Lou? You know, I just finished Here writing a book called called uh, How to Turn $50 into $40. This is the stuff that casino owners want you to know. And that book is still available. Lou, I got $20 if you give me 15 minutes uninterrupted. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, start the clock. <laughs> Um, you just so start they, a timer. They would put, yeah, the, the, the start the timer, uh, <laughs> Jeremy, yeah. and then speak up when his 15 minutes is up and let Lou shut up for 15 minutes. You got it. Okay. <laughs> and that, and that's Not predominantly a the cough. word will come out of my mouth. Coughs. For the next 15 minutes. Shut up. <laughs> um, so they would say all these things about, uh, me that I didn't know about. And then, like, there was a report at the end of the year, and on top of the things that I was doing, just like, eh, you know, running around. I remember, I remember, uh, I was in half day. I was in in that class for half the day, and the other half I would get to go to a couple of the classes. But all the teachers knew that I was like this bad boy or whatever. So, like, you know, look out for Rick. Um, <laughs> also, don't touch his palm because he'll freak. <laughs> and uh, I remember I went it's to, like talking about myself, somebody else being me. It's so weird. People, <laughs> people have been, that's what I'm saying. People have been saying this. That the only difference is I don't buy bubble gum. 
So I, I remember I went to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom and I came and I was coming back down the hall. And uh, a friend of mine, shout out to David Price, will put his Instagram heel here. He st we still laugh about this sometimes because he'll go. She went uh, yelling. Ricky's on the loose. Ricky's on the loose. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom. I'm taking the piss and washing my hands. Probably the only one in the class. <laughs> um, but there was a whole bunch of stuff. So then I, I I didn't get to go on the Washington trip. I don't know if that's out here, but yeah. you go to Washington, every a lot of schools. And, and I wasn't included in stuff. And I already wasn't really included with friends. So like I just was so far removed. And I wasn't embarrassed yet because I didn't really realize what it was. I just remember it, I, it felt bad. I didn't like it. And then in ninth grade, the only way to get out of this class, which was a full-time class. Oh, the reason I brought this up, by the way, was uh, there was a kid in that class that bought me a Playboy. But anyway, um, 